I guess I could start with this image. Rolo is the central pillar in this image. The first character to appear after him is the beaver, floating into view from the water. Almost as if being born from the oceanic unconsciousness. The beaver's pause animation is him sleeping. He is still deep in the waters. Then the squirrel, who eats all the time, may be representing our lower desires and instincts. The rabbit reads all the time, gaining knowledge, may be representing the higher instincts. Then the mole pops out of the depths, in the only part of the image where there is a slight opening in the clouds, the mole's headlight aligning with an opening in the woods. A newfound awareness is popping out after floating in the dark waters where the beaver was. The squirrel and the rabbit are more earthbound, more human-like. The beaver and the mole seem archetypal. The plot is basically that Rolo's mother has been imprisoned by the circus master. In fact, the whole land is guarded by circus performers of different kinds. The entire earth is under the dominion of a demiurgic magician. The world of Samsara is a circus, or a clown world, the Gnostic view of a fake world. It is cut up into many jigsaw pieces, and as we collect them, the world becomes wider. We see the bigger picture and gain awareness of ourselves. Rolo's friends, or the different parts of his psyche maybe, are also under the control of the circus master. The keys that imprisoned them are found inside the circus master's hat, inside his mind. His friends have been locked up and hidden away in the unconscious. Well, this image suddenly becomes black and white like an old photograph, like a memory of the past. This might explain why at the very end of the game we see Rolo's father telling his son, Rolo Jr., about his own childhood struggle to rescue his mother. Memory has been fully restored. Maybe this is why the world is a jigsaw puzzle. It is an unclear, imperfectly remembered image and needs to be put back together again. The past and the present connected once more. What's weird about all this, though, is that the mother now suddenly disappears. We had spent the whole game trying to rescue her, and yet after a brief meeting with her, the rest of the ending scene features the father. The father telling him a story. The whole world, then, was a story, a construction or a jigsaw puzzle, an illusion, magic, a circus trick. It is no surprise, then, that the circus master has two grey folds of hair on either side of his head, very reminiscent of an elephant's ears. The circus master is, in a sense, Rolo's father imprisoning his mother. The myth of Oedipus, basically. Rolo's own ego, maybe, imprisoning his relationship to reality, to the mother matrix of all nature. And furthermore, the circus master has three heads that come out of his hat, like the three-headed guardian of Hades. In an Oedipal twist, one could say this is the Sphinx also, a final guardian before we reach the mole's enlightenment.